Hi, I'm Chen, and today I'm going to try to convince you to read the book, And Then There Were None, by Agatha Christie. First, I'm, I'll read you a quote, I'll read you a poem from the book. Ten little Indian boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Nine little Indian boys sat up very late. One overslept himself, and then there were eight. Eight little Indian boys traveling in Devon. One said he'd stay there, and then there were seven. Seven little Indian boys chopping up sticks. One chopped himself in halves, and then there were six. Six little Indian boys playing with a hive. A bumblebee stung one, and then there were five. Five little Indian boys going in for law. One got in chancery, and then there were four. Four little Indian boys going out to sea. A red herring swallowed one, and then there were three. Three little Indian boys walking in the zoo. A big bear hugged one, and then there were two. Two little Indian boys sitting in the sun. One got frizzled up, and then there was one. One little Indian boy left all alone. He went and hanged himself, and then there were none. This is a poem that the mystery thriller is based on. There are ten people, each invited to Soldier Island by a mysterious UN Owen. On the first night, they hear a video recording accusing each person of a certain crime. Later that night, one of the guests is murdered. Each murder follows the poem of the ten little soldiers. Who was a murder on the island? The setting of this book is on Soldier Island, which is a fictional island based off of Devon, Devon Island. The characters are Justice Wargrave, a retired judge, William Bloor, a detective, Philip Lombard, a retired policeman, Vera Claythorne, a school teacher, Dr. Armstrong, a doctor, Emily Brent, an old lady, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Rogers, a married couple who are a cook and a maid, and Anthony Marsh, a rich young man. The theme of this book is justice. At the end, the murderer admits that he murdered everyone in order to serve justice. The people on the island all had a guilt, but they did not serve their punishment. The murderer thought he was doing an act of justice by doing an act of injustice. I suggest that people, I suggest this book to people that like mysteries or thrillers. I hope you read the book and then there will be.